Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. It was nearly a decade ago that Breck teamed up to imagine your parks, and you imagined big. Twelve beautiful community parks from one end of the parish to the other. One family-sized water park, and five other parks just for your dogs. You have places to splash and places to explore. You have games to play and camps galore. No matter what you like to do or see, visit Breck.org and see how together we have made Breck better than imagined. You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Hi. For many years, I had to make tough decisions for my team and players. The decision for you is quite simple. If you have a house that is in need of repair, call my friend Dale. Dale buy houses. Recently, I spoke with Dale about my property. He gave me all of the do's and don'ts. He wanted me to be smart about the decision I was going to make. You ought to be smart too. Call Dale. He buy houses. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Roger Kador Show. Clarence Bugs, along with Marty, Coach, and the crew at Scoreboards, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Baton Rouge's newest sports grill. Coach, Super Bowl 53 ended up being one of the most boring Super Bowls of all time, least watched Super Bowl in the last decade. What, do you, what did you make of the game, Coach? Well, I've thought that it, it might have been boring to people, but the execution was pretty good from a defensive standpoint. Yeah, a defensive thought, game. Yeah, defensive. But you know, Americans, we like scoring, coach. Well, you can't get everything you want all of the time. <laughs> Y'all remember he said that, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't get it all of the time you want. But I really thought that it was not that bad of a game because of it was competitive. Mm -hmm. I mean, until the fourth quarter. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, the yeah. Way, that's what you always look for, a competitive game. Yeah. I, uh, I saw an interesting picture. Uh, on our app at work today, there was a, a picture of a, a voodoo priest. Oh. <laughs> and the caption said, for those who don't think voodoo works in New Orleans, consider this. The Saints' final record was 13 and 3. <laughs> final score in the Super Bowl, 13, 13, 13 and 3. <laughs> what, what, what do you make of that, Coach? <laughs> well, you know, voodoo is prominent in Louisiana. It, it, there you go. That's Especially what I'm saying. South Louisiana and New Orleans. Specifically, uh -huh. uh, voodoo has played a rich, has a rich history. Yeah. So, those who believe in it, it worked. Those who don't, <laughs> that's okay. But those who believe voodoo work, it worked. 13-3 uh, and 13-3. Just saying. Ultimately, though, Coach, was the stage too big for the Rams? Well, first time, Coach. Mm -hmm. A lot of the players first time. Yeah. That stage is huge. Oh yeah. So much goes on in that week mm -hmm. prior to the game. And the experience of New England with their legendary coach and the quarterback. Yep. They made everything a lot easier for them yeah. to thrive and win the game. Mm -hmm. it, it's almost methodical in their approach now because they've been there and done that so many times. You you mentioned Bill Belichick, Tom Brady. In your mind, does that win solidify Tom Brady as the greatest of all time? When it comes to championship, he is. Mm -hmm. You know, there are a lot of things people are going to put on the table that say who is the greatest. Right. But when you talk about championships, mm -hmm. which is what you play for every year, right. championship, that put him in a special group mm -hmm. by himself. Yeah. And, and ultimately, is that really something we can quantify? I mean, if you go back to the, the Joe Montana era, that was real football 
considering. I mean, you could get popped, smacked, knocked around. You take four steps after the ball had left the quarterback's hand, and you're decked. Now, it's almost as though you, the, the quarterbacks are in a bubble because the NFL, obviously conscious of, of concussions and wanting to protect that very valuable asset. Is, is it even possible to quantify one era versus the other? Because they, they were all completely different games. Well, it's different era. Mm -hmm. That's why people who are really traditionists, they understand by putting people, you couldn't put Bart Starr in the area you right. era era we in uh -huh. it wouldn't work right and he did well in the area he played in mm -hmm. where you had less great athletes you got me right and joe montana played with where the athletes were good mm -hmm. now uh brady's playing with great athletes yeah bigger stronger faster bigger, stronger faster yeah uh, better coaching everything is better mm -hmm. the uh, rams came into the game with the fourth most prolific offense in the nfl and yet they only scored three points Obviously, you, you, you tip your cap to the New England game plan defensively, but I got to think the Saints would have put more than three points on the board. Coach. Well, I mentioned that to someone, that because of, uh, of Drew Brees mm -hmm. and his ability to connect with the short passes, yes, sir. I thought Drew Brees would have been a better mm -hmm. fit to defeat uh, the Patriots yep. than the Rams were. Because you're dealing with a second or third year quarterback right. who had never been on that stage uh -huh. before. Uh huh. Well, when all is said and done, unfortunately, it is one of those things that I guess we will never ever find out. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. When we come back, segment two of this week's edition of the Roger Cato Show. Stay close. Hi, for many years I had to make tough decisions for my team and players. The decision for you is quite simple. If you have a house that is in need of repair, call my friend Dale. Dale buy houses. Recently, I spoke with Dale about my property. He gave me all of the do's and don'ts. He wanted me to be smart about the decision I was going to make. You ought to be smart too. Call Dale. He buy houses. It was nearly a decade ago that Breck teamed up to imagine your parks, and you imagine big. Twelve beautiful community parks from one end of the parish to the other. One family-sized water park, and five other parks just for your dogs. You have places to splash and places to explore. You have games to play and camps galore. No matter what you like to do or see, visit Breck.org and see how together we have made Breck better than imagined. You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. My name is Dr. Ashley Blanche, chiropractic physician at Momentum Chiropractic and Sports Rehab. We are here to get you better faster if you suffer from any type of injury ranging from sprain and strain injuries to nerve pain. If you have an injury and you have a question about it or want us to evaluate you, please give us a call at 225-218-6126 or you can visit our website, mymomentumcare.com for more information about our services. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Beep. Segment two of this week's edition of the Roger Kador Show at Scoreboards, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Baton Rouge's newest sports grill. Coach, in true New Orleans fashion, thousands of Saints fans refused to watch the, the, the game. Instead, they took part in boycott bowls all across the city. 
That is truly the spirit of South Louisiana, is you give us a sack of lemons, we're going to make a big pot of lemonade, and then we're going to throw a parade and a party and give it away to anybody who wants them. That's really Louisiana, isn't it? I think it, it's at its greatest when you see that. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is that I think the NFL and Roger Gradell mm -hmm. hurt their brain yeah. by not coming out earlier yeah. and saying to the people, it was a terrible bad call. Right. You know, not that they were going to change and replay the game. No. But you have to make sure the people understand mm -hmm. that you can't stand for that. Yeah. We never want it going out that the NFL is a cheating league. Right. Once that gets out there, you lose people. My late father was, was a very instrumental early in his, all his kids' lives by telling us that the first step to resolving a problem is first of all acknowledging that there is a problem. And if you have wronged someone, the first thing you have to do before you expect forgiveness is you've got to go and talk to those folks and admit what you did was wrong. Goodell to this day really still hasn't done that. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just upset because I wasn't excited about the game as much because of mm -hmm. his action. Right. His action made me not want to be that involved in the game. Yeah. So what will Roger Goodell and the league have to do in the offseason to return many of their diehard fans back to the fold? Well, I really don't know. I just think that they've got to talk more about that incident. Mm -hmm. Not that you can change it, but it needs to be talked about so people will know mistakes are going to be made. I know that the one thing they said that add more fish, it wouldn't change it. You had more problems. Right. And, and I, I do believe that. Mm -hmm. and, the, the human element. The human element. Yeah. People are imperfect, so they make mistakes. Right. But when you make mistakes, you got to admit them. I just think people are accepting. We're a forgiving nation. Amen. We forgive people. Uh huh. When you come out and admit you made a mistake. Yeah. And and you look at the fact that uh, New Orleans fans are probably among the most passionate of any fan base in the NFL. But again, as you mentioned, these are Louisiana folks. And quite frankly, if there's any place on the planet that is willing to forgive, may not forget, but will forgive <laughs> and move on, it's Louisiana people. Oh, yeah, we're doing it in a great manner. And we are wonderful at doing it because there are a lot of things we've done wrong and we forgive people for. Yeah. And I admire the people for doing it. Saints quarterback Drew Brees uh, did not win the MVP again this year, but he did win the NFL's Art Rooney Sportsmanship Award. Can you think of a more deserving person and anybody on that level who has consistently done the right thing the right way like Drew Brees? Yeah, and New Orleans and the state of Louisiana have really benefited from him mm -hmm. signing with us after he was injured in San Diego. San Diego, Georgia. yeah. yeah. didn't re-sign him. We benefited from that young man coming here. And look what he's done for us. He's brought us a Super Bowl. And we've been twice the last two years uh, that close to being in the Super Bowl again. So what do you think the Saints are going to take away from this season now that the season's over and all is said and done? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I love your honesty, Coach. Yeah, I really don't. I'm like that <laughs> five or six-year-old kid. I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, we'll move ahead to Kate segment told me three to do it. of this edition of the Roger Cato Show. Blame it on Kate. There you go. Blame it on Kate. What are we going to do? <laughs> have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Hi. For many years I had to make tough decisions for my team and players. The decision for you is quite simple. If you have a house that is in need of repair, call my friend Dale. Dale buy houses. Recently I spoke with Dale about my property. He gave me all of the do's and don'ts. He wanted me to be smart about the decision I was going to make. 
You ought to be smart too. Call Dale. He buy houses. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Beep. It was nearly a decade ago that Brett teamed up to imagine your parks, and you imagine big. Twelve beautiful community parks from one end of the parish to the other. One family-sized water park, and five other parks just for your dogs. You have places to splash and places to explore. You have games to play and camps galore. No matter what you like to do or see, visit Breck.org and see how together we have made Breck better than imagined. Back for three, two, one, Marty. One, two, three. What's that all about? Y'all got to come in here and watch Marty. Give, uh, Coach, we need some help watching this guy. Over yeah, here. We... segment three of this week's <laughs> edition of the Roger Kador Show. Let's talk a little LSU hoops, Coach. Will Wade's Tigers lost their first conference game of the season, and and you know the old folks in their wisdom. Uh, we've heard for many years, all good things must come to an end. <laughs> so we knew, in all likelihood, at some point. It was going to happen. Tigers had a chance to win it, though. Last second shot, three shots at it, and came away empty-handed. Is, is that a tougher pill to swallow than being blown out of a game? Uh, Sometimes it is because it's uh, sometime the way you lose is tough. But a loss is a loss at the end of the day. Yeah. They all, it all has its moment. Mm -hmm. You know, every time I see Will Wade, I think he's some teenager. Right. I said, man, you look like you're 20 years old. Right. You know, right. and he's so young looking, but he's done a great job of recruiting and bringing basketball back to LSU. The glory years of John Brady and uh, Dale Brown. Dale Brown, yeah. 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 It's, uh, it, it really should be that way, though, it, shouldn't it? When you, you, you look at LSU, you are talking national recognition on the gridiron, on the baseball field, the softball field, track and field, gymnastics. Uh, it, it should be that way with basketball as well, shouldn't it? Well, you have a, a, a situation where the athletic program uh, support right. all of those programs, want them to be successful. Mm -hmm. Money is not an issue. Right. Be a good coach and go recruit the best players. Uh -huh. You know, and that's really what they do. And I admire because they're in the league. Right. The SEC uh -huh. that pays a lot of money to oh, them with the television yeah. rights. And if they do well, they're going to make a lot of money. Has it been your experience that success breeds success? If, if the basketball program is doing great, it kind of pushes the football program to do well, which in turn pushes the baseball program to do well. And it just kind of a trickle-down theory? Yeah, it is. And uh, I think it all starts first with the president and the athletic director. Mm -hmm. And his staff, because when they meet and they say, we got to have a person that can take us here and here. Right. And that's the kind of discussion you have when you got the money uh -huh. to hire the very best. Understanding that in, in the sport of collegiate basketball, many times you're only going to have that kid for the absolute minimal amount of time. Some of them a year, two years, you're moving on. Does that increase the pressure? in basketball and recruiting more so than maybe any other sport in the college ranks? It's pressure whether it was three years. Mm -hmm. yeah. The pressure of winning basketball is enormous. Yeah. And uh, the way things are handled with the AAU coaches and the AAU programs and with that one and done rule. Right. You know, Mike Shishkeski, coach, I better say Coach K. Yeah, Coach K, there you go. You know, for years <laughs> would not deal with that one and done kid. Right. Now he's taking yeah. that one and done kid because he knows that's the only way he can win. Uh -huh. And how much of that is due to we fans who want to win and we want to win right now? Well, everything is about right now. We live in a generation where everything is about. You know it, Clarence. 
when the mic, whoever invented the microwave, right. they, they yeah, couldn't we, wait yeah. three, four hours for the food to cook. <laughs> they stick point. it in the microwave. Good point. You know? Good point. <laughs> that's, the, that's the era we live in. The fact that Arkansas was able to come into the Maravich Assembly Center, end this winning streak, hand the Tigers their first conference loss in their own building, says what to Roger Cador about the SEC as far as the strength in basketball is concerned? Well, it's very difficult to tell you that the Arkansas and the Ole Miss and Mississippi and the Auburn and the Alabamas and the Kentuckys and yeah. the Floridas mm -hmm. and the Tennessees. Yeah. And it goes on and on and on. And on and on and on. And yeah. I don't know if I mentioned Georgia, but they're all a very difficult teams yeah. to win and win all the games. So I like the fact that it's got balance in winning because it made the league a lot better. Yeah, yeah, good point, good point. When we come back, we'll head to segment four of this week's edition of the Roger Cador Show. Stay close. Hey, Coach Roger Cador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. My name is Dr. Ashley Blanche, chiropractic physician at Momentum Chiropractic and Sports Rehab. We are here to get you better faster if you suffer from any type of injury ranging from sprain and strain injuries to nerve pain. If you have an injury and you have a question about it or want us to evaluate you, please give us a call at 225-218-6126 or you can visit our website mymomentumcare.com for more information about our services. It was nearly a decade ago that Brett teamed up to imagine your parks and you imagine big. 12 beautiful community parks from one end of the parish to the other, one family-sized water park, and five other parks just for your dogs. You have places to splash and places to explore. You have games to play and camps galore. No matter what you like to do or see, visit Breck.org and see how together we have made Breck better than imagined. Hi. For many years, I had to make tough decisions for my team and players. The decision for you is quite simple. If you have a house that is in need of repair, call my friend Dale. Dale buy houses. Recently, I spoke with Dale about my property. He gave me all of the do's and don'ts. He wanted me to be smart about the decision I was going to make. You ought to be smart too. Call Dale. He buy houses. You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Welcome back for our final segment of this week's edition of the Roger Cador Show. Coach, in the next Hall of Fame induction ceremony, there will be three more Louisianians mm -hmm. added uh, to the hall in Canton, Ohio. Uh -huh. Baton Rouge native, LSU star Johnny Robinson, Leesville and LSU star Kevin Mawai, mm -hmm. and Ed Reed of Destrehan and Baltimore Ravens fame. What is it about Louisiana? Why do we excel when it comes to football in the NFL? I really can't explain that. Uh, it's just... Uh, it's just that it's amazing that a, a state that maybe four million people have so many mm -hmm. great football players yeah. and also basketball players who go in to reach great height and Hall of Famers. Speaking of Louisiana football, we found out recently good news, bad news for Southern this year, the upcoming season. This year we've got a full complement of games on the schedule, 12 of them. But again, we've only got four games in Mumford. Two of them are against teams that many members of the Jaguar Nation may not have ever even heard of, NAIA schools. 
Are we selling ourselves short in that regard, Coach? I really don't know because I can't say what happened. Mm -hmm. I do know that scheduling games are getting more and more difficult because right. games are scheduled years in advance mm -hmm. and schedules are filled. So I, I have to look at it from that angle that maybe the other teams that Coach Banks maybe wanted to get right. already had that schedule filled on the particular day that he mm -hmm. had open. We also don't have a major play-up game uh, in this season coming up. Memphis Tigers will be the biggest team on the schedule. No TCU, no University of Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, you think that was by design and, and maybe the wave of the future, or did it just kind of shake out that way? Shake out that way. Memphis is pretty difficult. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, know, and, uh, you know, and you have to take into consideration what you, how you put Coach Odom and his players in difficult difficult situation right. to win when it's so hard mm -hmm. and you end up getting a bunch of kids hurt. It's also been announced that the plans are in the works to name the field at Mumford Stadium after Pete Richardson, the award-winning national championship winning coach uh, for the Jaguars from days gone by. That really would be a fitting tribute, wouldn't it? It is, and we are finally to the point where we want to honor people who did great things uh -huh. for the university. And Pete Richardson in his, what, 15, 16 years, yep. did such so many good things. And I, I feel honored that I was working at the university during that time. On, on the other hand, though, uh, unfortunately, the Jaguar basketball team continuing to struggle. Lady Jags, though, playing some really good basketball. Coach Sandy Pugh is doing some good things up there, Coach. Well, Sandy Pugh is not at Southern anymore. Oh, that's right. Ooh, that's right. you got a great story. That's right. It's like the sun rose in the west and set, set in, in the east. east. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. But, but now, uh, Coach uh, Fu 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 Fuji is the coach, and he was the assistant under Coach Sandy Pugh. Right. And he's doing a really good job. I think the men coach uh, will do a good job in time. Let's hope so. We, of course, are broadcasting from recording the show at Scoreboys 10655 Corsi Boulevard. It is Baton Rouge's newest sports grill. Come on out, enjoy the taping of the show, and more important, enjoy a great family atmosphere with outstanding food, which, by the way, Marty, you're slacking because we didn't get our prop food out here today. <laughs> Coach, what are we going to do with this guy? Well, we got other people looking for their job. I got two guys right here. <laughs> On behalf of the coach and the crew, I'm Clarence Bugs. We'll see you next week with another edition of the Roger Cador Show. See you then.